Hello everybody. I know uh, some of you might be <laughs> struggling I guess, as far as with the same problem I guess, as far as in construction sim with this rotary drill. I guess as far as for drilling the cans, let's call them that, I guess as far as into the ground. And usually they are in two parts. So I've already done one of these um, just to kind of get a feel I guess as far as for this. So you can see in the top left corner of the screen that I've got the one hole already done over there at 75% ready for concrete. Uh, so I already put the two cans that need to go into the ground via this uh, rotary drill machine and uh, th this it is very very frustrating. It took me a while I guess as far as to get this figured out but I figure uh, if nothing else I'm, for, for my own benefit I guess as far as to know how to do this again if I forget when I get uh, another one of these types of tasks to do uh, might work for everybody else too. So, jump right into this thing. I got this one uh, semi already lined up, so we can see where the can needs to go based on the hologram. The yellow ring on that represents, I guess, as far as the fact that we need to pick up the can with the yellow ribbon around it, yellow stripe on it. Uh, that has a cutter on it so that it can actually drill into the ground, and then. The other can is basically the extension of that, so that's how deep we need to go in there. We need to get the whole hole, the, this whole hole, for this one that we're doing, at 75%. Uh, don't want to go much further than that, because if you do, you end up having problems. So, okay. We're going to go through this uh, one thing at a time. So probably a couple things to mention. You'll, you'll have to switch back and forth between driving mode to work the crane hook to be able to pick up the can which is to our right of the machine and then get that lined up I guess as far as with our hologram that, that's more or less the first step and then once we get that lined up we got to get the auger and the whole chassis which are two different components that are separately movable you can move the auger like so and then you can also move the whole chassis now for whatever reason, this thing starts spinning and gets as far as on its own. It's not supposed to do that, but uh, it's been doing that for me. I don't know if it's just uh, the machine being glitched, but uh, just to show, I guess, as far as you can move the whole chassis and the auger at the same time. Okay, I tend to keep the auger as far as up it'll go into the chassis, and I've got this roughly lined up with the hologram, and I'll probably still have to uh, adjust it a little, you know, tweak down a little bit. But now we want to turn the whole machine this way first. And we're in drive mode right now, so we should be able to move the crane hook down. Oh, that's the other one. So we need to get into, into drive mode to be able to operate the hook. And you'll have a marker on the ground. I guess this card is to kind of give you a rough idea where that is. We gotta line it up with the blue ring uh, on the can. Alright, so we need to move this over a little bit. It's gonna take me a little bit, I guess, as far as to get that lined up, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there we go. So we can hook onto that. So, oh, my, I hooked up the wrong one, my bad. Unhook that. We need to get the one with the yellow ribbon. So I almost screwed up there. So get the one with the yellow ribbon. There we go. Go up to that. Now we can lift that can up. Get it straight and vertical. Like so. Now, first step is to get this can lined up with that hologram uh, over the hole. And swing it back over. Try not to move the boom at all as far as the boom chassis and all that stuff, and I'll keep it in that orientation entirely. Alright. That's over the hole. Now we gotta line the whole chassis and auger just as far as over that can. This can be a little bit, this is the tricky part. This can get really frustrating. So once you get the green, okay, you should be able to do this. Okay, we're not quite lined up. It is giving me the green, I guess, as far as on the, that, but that's obviously like that. We see the white circle right there. We've got to line that up over the can that we just placed. So the white circle that's on the ground, not the book. In fact, I can probably move the hook up a little bit just to get it out of the way. Let's move that hook out of the way just a little bit. There we go. Now we get to get this white ring on the ground to line up with that can that we just placed. 
and this is where you'll have to go back and forth between drive mode. We're not quite up far enough all the way, so we need to move up the chassis. Oh, go back to drive mode. You'll find yourself having to do this back and forth between drive mode and the function mode. I guess it's fine. Okay, I got the augers to not down too low. All right, so let's go back into this mode. We need to move the auger up, pull the chassis up. There we go. There we go. Now we go back into drive mode. Okay, we did that, but okay. This is where it gets a little tricky. So we're going to line that auger up with that can. That's basically the... It is tricky. Let me zoom up a little bit. Come on, camera. Work with me. Okay. We're visually lining up, I guess, as far as that drill as far as the actual auger over that can. Okay, it should be pretty good there. Alright, we need to move it back just a little. Go find yourself. This is what it was a difficult part for me just as far as to get it to line up just right. So we're getting that white ring going back into each mode between driving and uh, operation mode. Alright, there we go. We can now we're hooked. So once we get the green, and it's already started rotating, normally it wouldn't do that, but if you find it's doing that, that's fine. Now that we're hooked to the can, and I've got all the functions, I guess, as far as up at on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, now we need to move the whole chassis and the drill down there, and it's digging, it's digging out the hole. This Dig it all the way down until the uh, it gets full. Like so. I mean, this move the whole thing up, both chassis and the auger, at the same time. And then you'll see that the auger is full. So, what you want to do is swing the whole thing away from the hole, and then basically to shake it, shake the auger to get all the dirt off it. Like so. I will swing it back over the hole and get the other can. And actually, at this point, too, we can bring the chassis down just a little bit. Swing it over. All right, so the auger is all the way up. Let's bring the chassis down. Yeah, we should be good with that. Now all we want to do is get it swung over here and pick up this other can. That's the extension for the one that's already in the ground. So now we should be able to switch back to driving mode to be able to get the operation of the hook. Bring the hook down. It's probably all the way up there. Yeah. Sometimes it will reset. Um, you know, just like with the spinning of the auger, sometimes it'll start on its own. Other times you'll have to you know, push the key uh, manually it gets as far as to get it to spin. Okay, so, find up this. I'm just using that white circle just as far as my guide. Alright. At this point, it might be just a little bit off. I might have to move. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Alright, so as long as we're hooked up to it, stand it up vertical. Swing it on over the hole. Now, it should be pretty good to go. See, we, shouldn't, we didn't move the, the whole boom, you know, the boom chassis uh, forward or backward at all, it kept trying to keep it exactly in the same spot. It'll save you a lot of time, I guess, as far as from having to uh, get it lined up back again. So as long as you don't move the whole chassis forward or back, uh, you know, from the, from the whole uh, the whole get up there, uh, it'll save you a lot of time. Just get close to where the uh, cans are, I guess, as far as over the hole, and that's all you'll have to do is just rotate. That's the thing I had to... Uh, fuss with I guess as far as quite a bit. Now it's just a matter of getting the auger back lined up with this can. So we can do the same thing we did as the first one. So we switch over to this mode and we're good. Perfect. Alright so that hopefully will help I guess as far as a lot of it. Try not to move the whole chassis if you can help it. Get get the uh, the whole machine lined up I guess as far as over the hole and as long as you can pivot 
just on the one axis it gets as far as from the left to right to pick up the can and back over the hole and then the only thing other than you would have to do as far as to possibly only move it forward and backwards to get it get the green light I guess as far as to be able to you know, to hook the can um, onto the auger the whole auger itself and then be able to just drill it so that went pretty smooth I guess as far as on that second can uh, prior to the first one so now what we can do is switch to that. Alright. Uh, Alright, why is it? I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on. Alright, let me resume. Uh, okay, get that out of there. We should be in drive mode. No, yeah, see, we, no, we, are, we are driving it down, so... It did start rotating. As long as you're in that mode, so you know, it's for for whatever reason, mine spins automatically. I don't have to use the uh, the key. I guess as far as to get it to rotate. So that's moving the auger down, but I also need to move the chassis down so I can drill it. Now we got to pay attention. I guess as far as to the top right of the screen, we only want to get it to 75 percent on the dig. We get it to 75. and then stop and bring the whole chassis and the auger back up and it's going to have some dirt on it so we'll, we'll do the same thing as far as to swing it over away from the hole and depending on if it's rotating or not you may need to stop it to shake it off back and forth because it's far on that so it gives you that option now. okay so we cleaned off now we've got both holes are set, I guess as far as that 75%. From this point, all you would have to do is just fill it up with concrete. And you can simply use uh, just a standard cement mixer. And that's how you do it. I mean, I'm hoping this will help a lot of people that have probably struggled with this like I have, I guess as far as to operate this machine. Uh, it's a very cool machine, and I was very tempted, I guess, as far as just to kind of understand um, how it actually works. So I hope that does help some people, I guess, as far as with it. I'm going to jump out of this thing. And, uh, yeah, so we got both of these holes uh, for this marina project, I guess, as far as completely dug uh, with the two sets of cans in each hole, and it's just ready for cement. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, appreciate you stopping by and checking it out, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Later, everybody.